You now use Google Earth to save out an aerial image that you'll be able to use later as a ground texture. If you close Google Earth, run it again and go back to view the Crown Point, New York area. Adjust your view around the area where the bridge is to be built. Unlike earlier when you needed the labels, now you can turn them off as the idea is to save a texture to use in 3ds Max. Zoom and pan to cover an area that extends from this gray patch in the top left corner to that branching set of trees in the bottom right corner. Ultimately, you want to define a zone or an area of interest that extends, let's say, from this road intersection point to this white speck among the trees in the bottom right corner. Adjust your view around that area and then click and drag the mouse wheel to ensure you're viewing the ground straight from top. Press N to ensure north is pointing up. To save an image to disk, use the Save Image button. Here it is important to note that the free version of Google Earth only allows you to save relatively low resolution images. In this case, the saved image is about 1600 by 1000 pixels. It still needs to be cropped, making the resulting image even smaller. Keep in mind that the Pro version of Google Earth allows you to save higher resolution images in the order of 4000 pixels horizontally. As mentioned, once the image is saved, it needs to be cropped to match the area of interest. This can be done in any image editing software, I'll be using Adobe Photoshop in this case. I like to use guidelines to define the area I need. Then I simply make a rectangular selection and use the Image Crop tool. The resulting image is about 900 by 900 pixels, which is relatively low, but would still look decent in a rendering. The process I'm showing you here is one that you need to do if you are following along. The reason is that I'm not allowed to redistribute Google Maps along the scene files that usually accompany these tutorials. In this case, I'm only providing you with a proxy image that shows the land, water lines, and other major roads. It's a poor substitute for an image, so I encourage you to save your own map if you want your scene to look good. If you followed my instructions, you can save the Google map to the C3D to 3ds Max folder. And so you can replace the proxy image named Crown Point EG JPEG, as the satellite image you just created would look infinitely superior. At around 900 pixels, the saved image will look okay, but it's not of the highest quality. If your goal is to use high-resolution images, well, Google Earth Pro is one way to go, but there are other ways. Another option is to save multiple images in the free version of Google Earth and then stitch them together in a paint program. However, keep in mind that Google Earth is sensitive to pans and zooms, and orbits for that matter, so stitching may not be perfect. If stitching is what you're interested in, you may want to take a look at a free program called Terra Incognita. Before I show it to you, you're going to need specific coordinates as Terra Incognita cannot do a search by name. So, in Google Earth, start by changing the coordinate options to display in decimal degrees. This is not absolutely necessary, but it makes the procedure a bit easier. Now place a pin to get latitude and longitude information of where you are in the world. Google Earth returns values around 43.95 north and 73.40 west. That's all you need. Take note of these values and then cancel the dialog. Terra Incognita is a free application to view and manipulate map source data. You can find it at http www.zubac.sk slash Terra Incognita.
Go ahead and download it. And extract the application to your disk drive. It doesn't need any special installation. Simply run the executable. Use the Go to GPS Position dialog and type in the coordinates you extracted from Google Earth 43.95 North and 73.40 West. Note that you could have also entered them in degrees, minutes, and seconds. That should take you to the same area that you were viewing in Google Earth. Here, and although you can use the mouse wheel for zooms, the zooming is not as sensitive but rather incremental. In fact, you can adjust it from the zoom level menu, set it to an altitude of 500 meters. The nice thing with this program is you can choose from different satellite representations. For example, a Google satellite map is different from a Bing map. The colors and dynamics are different. Use the rectangular selection to roughly frame the area you're interested in. Just make sure you exit this mode when you're done. At this point, you can save out an image of the framed area, but this still wouldn't result in a high-resolution image. You could potentially zoom in further and screen capture multiple images of the area. Pan the view and make sure there is some significant overlap so that you have an easier time stitching images together. At zoom level 200, you'd probably need about 15 images if your monitor has a 1080p resolution. The more zoomed in, the more screen captures you will need. More images also translate into a higher resolution resulting image. Once you have the overlapping pictures, you can stitch them together using a paint program. Adobe Photoshop, for example, has a photo merge tool that you can use to that effect. Once the images have been merged, you can flatten the layers and crop the image as you have learned to do. If you want, you can even adjust colors and brightness to your liking. A resulting image using 15 screen caps is a little over 3000 by 3000 pixels, which is quite reasonable for a ground texture. Again, make sure to use either method shown to you to save an aerial image, as it is not provided to you as a downloadable asset. It's always fair to add the proper attributions, giving Google Earth and other providers the appropriate credits. When you do create your own map, Save it and override the proxy file named crown.eg.jpg in the C3D to 3DS Max folder. This way, when you open any of the provided Max scenes, the terrain will be mapped with a proper satellite image instead of a proxy texture. With the image saved, 
you can now close Google Earth and or Terra Incognita. In the next movie, you learn how to find and download GIS data that will help you build a 3D surface in Civil 3D. The data you download will be based on the location you chose, mainly around Crown Point Town, Essex County, New York State.